In this module, we'll talk about potential complications and their prevention. Stiffness is one of the worst complications after knee replacement. A stiff total knee can lead to an unsatisfactory outcome. Avoidance of stiffness by regular use of the CPM machine, aggressive swelling control, and compliance with the exercise program is key. Some patients may be genetically prone to form scar tissue, and this may result in stiffness despite one's best efforts to avoid it. If patients are failing to achieve 100 to 110 degrees of flexion by six weeks after surgery, we may recommend a manipulation under anesthesia. This is a non-invasive procedure that involves controlled flexion under deep sedation to break up scar tissue. Infection is another devastating complication. These occur in about 0.5 to 1% of patients after knee replacement and typically occur either in the first eight weeks after surgery or possibly even years later. Risk factors for infection include morbid obesity, poorly controlled diabetes, conditions or medications that suppress the immune system, poor nutrition, and smoking. Wound drainage is also a leading cause of infection and should be addressed immediately by alerting your care team. Signs of infection include increased pain, swelling, redness, fevers, and wound drainage. Infections may require surgical debridement and treatment with oral or intravenous antibiotics. How to prevent infection. Avoid submersing the incision underwater for at least three weeks. Monitor your incision for any drainage and alert our office immediately if this occurs. Keep soiled clothing away from your incision. Keep your hands clean at all times during dressing changes. Optimize yourself in terms of the nutrition and supplement recommendations in the preparation section of this guideline. Make sure any dental issues such as cavities or gum disease are addressed before surgery and limit or stop smoking prior to surgery. Blood loss is another potential complication, although major blood loss is not common after knee replacement, and the risk of needing a blood transfusion is less than 5%. Some blood loss is expected and may lead to some fatigue in the first few weeks after surgery, which is normal. Your body will build back its natural blood stores in time. Damage to major blood vessels at the time of surgery is extremely rare. Damage to major motor nerves around the knee is also very uncommon. On rare occasions, patients may have a temporary foot drop after surgery, which may be caused by the local anesthetic and usually resolves in one to two days. Some numbness on the outside of the incision is normal and occurs in all total knee replacements. This will be noticeable early after surgery, but becomes less noticeable over time. Blood clots are another potential complication. Blood clots in the leg are rare, but do occur after joint replacement. The best prevention is early mobilization and prophylaxis with blood thinner medications. If patients develop signs and symptoms that may suggest a blood clot, we will order an ultrasound study to evaluate for this. Patients who develop a blood clot will need to be treated with anticoagulant medications for up to six months after surgery. Alert your care team if you develop increased calf or thigh swelling with pain and warmth. How to prevent blood clots. All patients are placed on some form of blood thinner for 30 days after surgery. For most people, we use aspirin 325 milligrams twice a day. For people with a history of stomach ulcer disease or kidney insufficiency, we may use aspirin 81 milligrams twice a day, also known as baby aspirin. Patients already taking blood thinners such as Eliquis, Xarelto, Plavix, or Coumadin are restarted on their regular medication the day after surgery. The following steps can lower the risk of blood clots. Elevation to reduce swelling, regular exercise and mobilization, and ankle pump exercises. Medical complications may also occur. Surgery is a stress to the body and patients with medical problems such as heart, lung, or kidney disease may experience medical complications from surgery. Optimization of these medical problems before surgery is critical as is customization of the care process to prevent complications. Make sure your care team is aware of any medical history that may affect your risk and recovery. 
Thank you for entrusting your care to our practice. We are committed to ensure the best possible outcomes for our patients. Our avatar program has been refined over years of experience with three main goals, less pain, better function, and faster recovery. For any specific questions, please reach out to us at avatar at kneehipshow.com.